Welcome everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Today I'm going to show you how to connect one of these with one of these. We're going to take a look at Windows 7, 8 and 10 with a few different accessories. They are a standard Xbox One controller, an Xbox One S controller, the wireless USB adapter, the chat adapter and of course the micro USB charging cable. I'm gonna try to be as comprehensive as possible. Let's go. First things first, you're going to need to update the controller. Connect the micro USB to the top and the standard USB to your PC or console. There are two possible methods. Updating through the console couldn't be simpler. Go to all settings, connect and devices, devices and accessories, and then click on your name. If it says no update available, then your controller is ready to go. Otherwise, update the controller. If you want to update the controller through a PC, you're going to need Windows 10. Just as a quick reminder, updating through the USB cable is the most reliable method. First of all, you're going to need to go to the Microsoft Store. Open the shopping bag icon from the taskbar or just search Store in the search options. On the Store, type Xbox Accessories and install the application. As a side note, Windows updates need to be enabled otherwise you won't be able to download anything from the Store. Once downloaded, open the application. It will automatically detect your controller and provide an update if necessary. Now that your firmware is up to date, let's take a look at the different options for connecting your controller to a PC. Okay, nobody likes ugly cables, so let's look at the wireless methods for Windows 7, 8 and 10. For all systems and controller types, you're going to need the wireless adapter. As a quick note, the sync button is on the side. It comes with an extension cable. Connect it to your PC and let the drivers update automatically. Syncing the controller with the wireless PC adapter is extremely easy. Just take your controller, hold down the home button, then hold down the sync button located on top. It will flash a few times. Go to the adapter, hold down its sync button, and then it will begin to flash. And after a few seconds, the controller and the adapter will be in sync and you will see a solid light. It should be noted that Bluetooth is only applicable to the Xbox One S controller and Windows 10. To save you pulling out your hair and troubleshooting for hours, sound through controller is not supported on Windows 7 and 8. Moving on to Windows 10 and Microsoft's introduction of Bluetooth into their controllers going forward, there is a nugget of information that's very, very important. And let me allow Microsoft to tell you directly. The controller doesn't support headsets or other accessories while it's connected using Bluetooth. When I heard that information, it was extremely disappointing because my understanding was that the introduction of Bluetooth was to provide a purely wireless experience. However, the Bluetooth only has a single use. I'm no expert on the subject, so I can only assume that the format of Bluetooth itself has single use limitations and cannot be a gamepad as well as the playback and recording device. Anyway, make of that what you will, connecting your Xbox One S controller to Windows 10 is fairly simple. Make sure that your computer's Bluetooth is turned on as well as the controller and its sync button. You're going to click Start, Settings, Devices and Bluetooth. The discovery of your controller should start automatically. Remember that this process can take anywhere from 30 seconds to 1 minute. I'll provide troubleshooting links for any issues that you might have in the description below. Once discovered and paired, you are ready to go, but just remember there will be no through controller audio. If you want audio through controller, then you're going to need to use the wireless adapter. Of course, alternatively, in any one of these scenarios, you can use the USB cable. That goes for any model of Xbox One controller. Following the exact same steps as previously shown for syncing the controller and the wireless adapter, you can easily connect your controller to use also with sound and a headset of your choice, whether it be professional or just earbuds. The sound will work through a 3.5mm jack or the chat adapter. One thing to remember is you will need to go into the system sound settings and make a few adjustments. With the controller successfully connected, as soon as you insert a headset, it will appear as an audio device in your system. In playback, it will appear as headphones, and in recording, it will appear as headset microphone. Simply right-click and select Set as default device for both. Now you're ready for game sound, and you can use your microphone. As previously stated, there is a plethora of potential issues that can occur, so I will provide troubleshooting links below that might help you out. Just as a quick obvious tip, if you're having issues with any adapter, try changing the USB port. 
For example, one of the many hiccups that you might go through is if you connect a wired cable to Windows 7 and you insert a headset, this happens. What the fuck, Microsoft? Okay, that's it for now, people. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Of course, I love to interact with you, so leave a comment, leave your thoughts, leave your tips, suggestions, ideas, advice for everyone else out there, or even your questions, okay? I'll be happy to answer them. I'm always doing my best to produce interesting quality content for you people out there. So if you could show your support and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. I will catch you in the next video. Did you get all that? Did you get all that, laddie?